That's it. I'm going to set up my mouse. Should have done that before I press the record button. <clears throat> okay. So this is a PvP between me and another Protoss player. Never Crew, his name is. So, um, still learning the game, of course. I don't know a whole lot of build orders. I looked up something on Liquipedia that sounded relatively simple. So that's why I did it. It's, uh... It's a two gate opening before Cybercore, so you're just kind of going to go Zelda aggression. Um, so I haven't really done it too much. There's different variations, I guess. You can do like a double gate expand where you just build like three zealots and then expand. Um, so yeah, 10 gateway, 12 gateway. Anyways, um, I'm just I'm just derping it up. I'm just going to try things out. However, never crew does uh, what, I'm, what I don't exactly uh, expect. I haven't really seen this uh, in this matchup, actually. Well, I have, but it's rare, right? I don't see this. It, it's StarCraft 2, at least. I, don't, I've, I remember seeing this, like, really like a long time ago in, like, Wings of Liberty. Uh, but yeah, Forge Forge Fast Expand. Now, this isn't really a thing you see in StarCraft 2 because of, like, you know, Blink Stalkers, like, you know, just being a thing that, you know, immediately counters that. But in this game, I guess... It might be a little more viable, because what can you... I mean, I guess you could, like, rush to Robo. Um, and, you know, you know, maybe, like, a Reaver Drop would do really well against this. Like, a one-base Reaver Drop. I don't know. I'm just speculating, really. But, that's what's happening. So, let's see how he... I'm just curious what he does. <clears throat> it looks like he's, he's going to go for a Nexus first, which... Man, that's so ballsy. That's crazy ballsy. Like, right? Like, I mean, this guy must be really, really confident. I mean, I'm, he is a better player, I'm sure. He, he actually he does wind up winning this. But we'll see if I can if I can uh, learn anything from this. So he, his nexus goes down um, about about the two minute mark. Am I? Yo, like, this is, act I, hmm, hmm, this, this should, I should have straight up won, I think, right? Look at this. I mean, I wish I would have scouted in the right direction. Had I scouted in the right direction, this guy, he might have been in trouble, man. But, well, let's see what happens here. Throwing down the forge, of course. Now, of course, uh, for the wall off, you always want the gateway on top of the forge. And let me just, I, I literally have post its pasted on my TV next to me. <laughs> I don't, um, oh, where the hell is it? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, the space in between the gateway and the bottom is seven, and the space in between a forge and the top is an eight, eight plus seven, 15. So that's like a perfect wall, so. Nothing, nothing will get through that except maybe a ghost, I think. But yeah. So, at this point in time, Forge is still going up. What's going on with me? My first Zealot's almost done. Uh, uh, uh. Throwing up a pylon back at home. Probably going to throw up the gateway or the Forge. Probably the... I, oh, if he throws up the gateway, I even... All the more reason I had the chance to win this. Nope, cannon first. What a spot for the cannon, too. You would think you would put it behind the wall. That's very confusing to me. That is quite confusing. Come on. Why aren't, why aren't I making that? Come on. Oh, that's annoying. I'm annoying myself right now. That's some bad macro. Jesus. What the hell was I doing? Huh. So, ha Man. Honestly, this looks like it's safe. Hmm. It really does. It just looks safe to me. That's kind of a bummer. I mean, I should have, like... I should have three zealots out, really. This guy should be done, because I just forgot. 
So let's say I had three zealots, three zealots, and by the time I got there, so three zealots versus two cannons. Uh, I don't, I don't think I can win that, right? I'm honestly not positive. Hmm. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's questionable. I mean, it's hard to say. I. I I think um, what I will do next time though is I'm gonna make I'm going to move out at three at three zealots three zealots are moving out and I think I do that here but my macro is shit like what is this money doing what am I doing this is just bad this is really bad I don't know what I'm doing here yeah no it's just it's sloppy very very sloppy but whatever let's see what happens. Um, I wish I could just see his vision. Is there a way to do that? What happens if I do that? Oh, oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. He does. He has no idea it's my base. No idea. And he's just making three cannons. Why? And what have I seen? I haven't seen anything either. Oh, sorry, I thought... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm, like, looking around, like, why isn't it playing? Why is it frozen? But yeah, okay. I'm stupid. It's fine. So I decided to move out with five zealots. And this guy... I think he pretty much knows he's fine. He could throw up another cannon if he wants. Which he will. But how bizarre is this that this guy... His tech is, like, super delayed, right? Or not his tech, but... Well, it is delayed, but then again, mine is, like, complete garbage. Just a lot of money into cannons here. Or a lot. Even putting that for a wall. Which you might even cancel. I bet he cancels that. Cause it's like a wonky place to have to jump to. And it's out in the open. I don't think I don't know. But yeah, this is. A, I think I really defeated the purpose of doing this build. Like, if you're gonna go two gate early aggression, you should probably attack before the five minute mark. You know, long before that. Like when I had three zealots, that was. Uh, I wish I would have checked the time, but it was a while ago, right? It was quite a while ago. But I'm curious on the work count. Kind of 24, he has 25. I'm really not too far behind. I'm just I'm behind in tech though, and he does have a second base, so I'm just gonna get exponentially behind here. The word for it, exponentially. I'm gonna get more and more behind. That's just gonna happen. He does let it finish. I don't know what HH means. So I'm thinking, okay, I can't break that, and I'm behind a base. Not good. So I decided to double expand. I think my heart was in the right place, I think. But. I hope I don't make any more zealots here, because that literally doesn't make any sense. Okay, I don't. Okay. I'm a little late getting my probe there, though. He should have went directly over there. I don't know why I uh, didn't do that. Just lack of experience. I don't know what happened here. No clue. I don't know why I did that. <clears throat> this guy knows that. That I think, in a way, this is kind of a good thing because to me it says that I I wasn't you know I had the right idea because he predicted me doing it. So so I, I think I feel like that's a good sign. Um. I should have taken... I did take gas. I don't know when I took that. I should have grabbed that, like... Probably, like, immediately after, actually, once... I don't know, actually. That's a good question. When, when should I take... When should I have taken the gas? 
Well, like, for one, for one, we've already established that I should have attacked with just three zealots. Should have went in like that. And then from there, you can make a decision on what you want to do. So... <sighs> so, yeah. Alright. This guy's stalling me, which sucks. This might... This is actually kind of a big deal. It is a very big deal. It's taking me forever to get my... Conduct. He now has 37 probes to my 29, so I'm getting more and more behind. He's researching uh, attack upgrades. He goes Robo, probably for the, you know, the, the, the observers. Um, but how? His gas is kind of high. What's he doing with the gas? That's okay. There is the observer. Uh, observatory. Citadel of a Doom. <clears throat> so, some good macro right there. Great. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So we're doing that. I leave this guy here for what reason? I don't know. I'm I'm glad that I'm like I'm I'm you know being a little more active on the map. So that's kind of a good thing, right? Big mistake of newer players is to chill in your base and do nothing. So we're checking to see if he expanded elsewhere. See that he is taking there so many cannons. Oh my god. It might have been a definitely actually it would it would have been a good idea to put all my zealots on his third actually. That would have been smart. This they they definitely would have beat this. But oh well. Um so, we're making probes, so that's good. We're not really missing our probes. I'll give myself credit for that. My, my, my macro is really good right now. My money is really low. I didn't have a, a good idea of what I wanted to do, though, for my tech choice. I knew I needed observers, probably. I mean, that's a given. Every game, you're, you're, you're going to need observers, usually. Um, but I was late on the Citadel of Adun. Didn't do that. Um, I really should have got both right at the same time. Said I opt for the Forge, which is also important. I should have got really all... I should have threw down all three. Forge, um, Robo Bay, and uh, Citadel. This guy's chilling. Not doing anything. This Dragoon really distracted me. I mean, not that bad. I wasn't, I wasn't like, letting it go crazy, you know? Um, but then again, I think I did, because I'm not making probes. Well, I am making a probe there. That's good. Not making it here, though. Oh, actually, actually, no, no, no. The reason for that is because um, I'm actually using two hotkeys for Nexus, so I, I prioritize the two that are being used the most, you know? So that would be um, at, at my natural and then my new one at my third. So, no, that, that, that's actually fine. Totally fine. This guy is, you know, being pretty good at the micro, you know. Well. <laughs> um, but honestly, I don't think, like, as far as, like, macro goes, I don't think he's, like, significantly better than me. Um, he, just, he had a better opening, and I'm sure he has more experience, but, like, as far as spending money goes and all that, I don't think he's super, super better than me. 47 probes to my 40 when I was behind for a while. Um, that's kind of cool. I'm alright with that. This game might have even been winnable, actually, if I just made some better tech choices. Um, so my let's like check out the army. I have 12 zealots, 5 dragoons. And he has 6, six, yeah, six dragoons. And that's it for his army. Mm. Mm, I don't know. He's going like super turtly, but no, this I could totally do something about this. He's now that what he winds up doing though, he he texts to High Templar, and that winds up being the thing that does me in. Um, I, I got careless and just got, and I just thought I could like maybe power through the center, but no, I wound up losing way too much. But uh, I actually had a really decently sized army, and we're gonna see that in a bit. Making four, or 44 probes. He is at 53. I'm not too, too far behind. We're not doing terrible, terrible. A lot of guys in here. Definitely a little oversaturated. Could have transferred them there. 
but it's gonna be all right, no big deal. But yeah, definitely, um, yeah, definitely I could have made that Citadel a long time ago, a long time ago. Like these Dragoons, all this gas that's going into, into Dragoons right now and before wasn't as important as getting my tech up. And if I had gotten observers over there, which I don't know why, I don't know where those guys ever went, but I would have seen that uh, this guy didn't really have much of an army. He just, he just doesn't. This was very much so winnable. And I actually have more supply than this guy. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. Let's see what you guys think. Um, fucker, man. Come on. Oh, well. Alright, so, finally... Nope, nope, not finally. I still haven't done it. This is just depressing. Do I never... I have to get a Citadel at some point. This is silly. Do I really just not get it? Finally, that, that's... There's no excuse. That's just so, 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 so late. So I actually, yeah, I, I definitely have the bigger armor than this guy. Well, now, now he's catching up. <laughs> no, wait, 123 to 113. Yeah, I'm still ahead. But he's got the tech advantage of the High Templar. And there was, there was literally, there was literally no reason for me to also have High Templars by this point in the game. There really wasn't. No reason for it. I mean, he's got the, up, the upgrade advantage. But whatever, you know. I could have even thrown down more gateways. Yeah, there comes the Templar Archives, but... Too late, man. It's just too late. I also, like, kind of ended the game myself, really. I attacked into it, and... Oh, what is this? I see this so often, and I never saw this in StarCraft II. Is like, people will just take expansions that are, like, way out of like just way out, just way out of no like I don't know where they just pulled a second expansion that just makes no sense to me like this how are you going to protect that I mean he's making cannons to protect it but like it just doesn't I can't wrap my head around it like it's it's totally out of the way of your other bases I don't know maybe you guys can uh, shed some light on that for me <clears throat> ooh ooh so what happened here oh oh yeah we missed it we missed it <laughs> He actually, yeah, I, we literally just missed it. Um, yeah, he uh, he stormed my natural here. That sucked. I saw it happen. I cried. And look how much, look how much that did too. Like I, I have 41 workers now, and he has 61. I wish we could rewind. You know, that's one thing StarCraft 2 did right. Give give us a rewind button. You know, let me choose to go backwards. How strange. Um, so once I, once I lost those workers, like, I decided that, well, okay, I'm not going to be able to get, uh, an advantage, any, 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 um, equal ground, equal playing field I had as was right now, and because from this point on, I can't really do much, because he just killed my workers, you know, I, I gotta play comeback, I, I have to, I have to do some damage now, I think, that, that's, that was my thought process, because of those workers lost. But, I'm ill-prepared, though, because I only have Zealots and Dragoons. Do I even have uh, Lake Speed? Uh, no, I don't. Ah, this... All sorts of ugly. This guy's setting up a cool flank, though. Good on him. Um, let me just, before we, before we lose too much units here, let's see what's going on. I have 11 Zealots, 12 Dragoons. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, 12 Zealots, 26 Dragoons to his 11 Zealots, 12 Dragoons, 7 High Templar. Yeah, um... The supply is 132 to 135. Keep in mind, his is mostly in workers. I have the bigger army. I really do. This is... This game is winnable with some better with some better decision making. And that's, uh, that, that's good. I'm happy about that. But yeah, these storms just wrecked me. 
What the hell is he doing? What? Oh wait, okay, that's my ult. Okay, I'll... never mind. I'm confused. Oh, he has plus two now. And here comes uh, man. Yeah, I'm just thinking I can like power through. I'm thinking like you know. Tell you what, if I had a lot of zealots, I might I might have done a lot better here. You know, he's not gonna want to storm on top of himself, which he would have to do if I uh, if I had leg speed and more zealots. This game was so winnable. Oh my god! And sure, he he attacks me up here, but again, this is just me being stupid. I could have easily had cannons here as well. Um, yeah. But that's basically it. I lose some stuff there to more storms. And, uh, that's the game, you know? So, uh... So I guess what we can learn from this is, if you're gonna do this build, this, this two-gate thing at the start, send out at three zealots. There's no reason why I can't find his starting location by the time my third zealot pops. So once it does, move out and make decisions from there you know do i can i apply more pressure can i can i not and in, in which case you know expand uh then you know i can choose my tech route based on what i see all that stuff the, be the beginning of the game was was kind of was kind of messed kind of messed up but hmm all in all i'm kind of happy with this game you know yeah all right. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. If you did, uh, man, I'm tired. I can't word anything for shit. Anyways, uh, take care. All right, see ya. Bye bye.